In this video, I'm going to show you what is hopefully a random coincidence between myself, Bluehost, SiteLock, a bunch of my sites, and a bunch of client sites. And if it's not a random coincidence, there's something big going on that's not very good. Either way, we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress and like staying up to date with random stuff that happens like I'm going to show you in this video, hit subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, and check out our private Facebook group. If something like this does happen to you, post it there. We'll help each other through it. And I'd love to hear if something like this has happened to you. Leave it in the comments down below. Leave your thoughts. Whatever you want. Just leave a comment down below. And let's head into the screen capture. I'll see you there. So here's what happened, play by play. Yesterday morning, I get a notification from actually a client who has a website on the server saying my server is down or my site's down, please help. Okay, so I, I look at the site, it says suspended here, it's my Bluehost hosting account. And I think, oh, it must be some kind of malware. So I'm just gonna log into chat, get a list of malware files or files that are infected by malware, clean them up and we're done. So I log into live chat. I go to security and malware department or something like that. And I say, my site's possibly been hacked. Can we please look into it? And the person I connect with doesn't really look into anything. And all they're asking about are my site security protocols and whether I have site security in place and whether I have site lock in place. And I say to her that normally when I log on to chat, you guys give me a list of files that I can then go and clean. And this lady is like, well, I can't do that because I don't work for Bluehost. I work for SiteLock. And all these domains that I gave to her a minute ago that are on the account that could be comp compromised, you should get SiteLock for all of those. And here is an exorbitant amount of money that we want to charge you to do that. And I said, whoa, slow down. You're not even Site or you're not even Bluehost? Because on the chat, there's no indication that they're from SiteLock. Zero. It's all Bluehost branded. She never said site lock at the beginning, nothing. It was like a bait and switch. So then at the end of the chat, she's like, this is how much money you have to pay us and we'll get site lock on and we'll clean up your sites and we'll, it'll be fantastic. And I say, well, thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna log on to the real Bluehost and then have them give me a list of files. I'll clean it myself. And at the beginning of that chat, she asked for my phone number and my email address because she said these chats drop. Fair enough, they drop. But she asked at the beginning when I thought she was Bluehost. I didn't really realize she was SiteLock. I wouldn't have given her that information if she was SiteLock. Either way, she has information. So after the chat, she emails me right away saying, hey, listen, you got to get SiteLock on your sites. Anything can happen out there. It's, it's a big world, big, scary world. Better secure your sites with SiteLock. I ignore the email. I log on to Bluehost chat. And they say that your sites are not compromised. You have uh, one site that was getting too much traffic using too many server resources, and all the traffic was coming from one IP. They were sending 60,000 visits in an hour. So if we block that IP, we can put all your sites back up. I say, okay, great. So we block the IP, all the sites are back up. I think it's all done. Not 12 hours later, I get this message again, this morning. I come to this page, just checking on sites. Make, I, whenever I clean up a, a site or get a server back online, I routinely check to see if it's online and I have uptime monitoring as well. Either way, get this message again. I think, oh, it must be now a different IP saying the traffic we will go block the IP or move my site somewhere else or do something to stop this. This time I log on to Bluehost chat, not on the site lock, Bluehost. I go to compliance and TOS and that is Bluehost. And they say, no, all your sites have malware on them. All of them are compromised. This is not 12 hours after I've given information about what my sites are to site lock, and I said no to their offer of securing my sites, all my sites are hacked. It's a coincidence, a coincidence has happened. These sites haven't been hacked in two years or more. Coincidences happen, sure. So then that was this morning when, um, when I found out I was on live chat with Bluehost. And then not two hours after I find out my sites are down, I get an email and a phone call from SiteLock saying, you should buy our services. We'll keep you safe in this big, scary world. Not two hours after all my sites go down. And I think, you know, that's, that's quite a coincidence. It's kind of like, 
if you saw that Chris Rock skit back in the 90s where he said, it was about OJ, and he said, I don't think he did it, but I understand. And that was like his whole thing throughout the whole skit. Now, I'm not saying he should have killed him, but I understand. I'm not saying Sightlock hacked my sights. I'm just saying this is quite the coincidence. So anyway, now I've cleaned all the sites. I cleaned all the, yeah, cleaned all the sites from malware. So the sites are back online, or they will be in just a minute. And I Googled SiteLock, and I found a lot of scam reports about how they extort money from people, or people feel that they're extorting money. None of it's, none of it's ever been proven. I don't have any chat transcripts or anything. I could be making all this up. I'm actually not, but it wouldn't hold up in court, obviously. And I'm not saying they did it. I'm just saying it's quite the coincidence. Uh, Anyhow, don't use SiteLock. There are a bunch of videos on this channel that show you how to clean up hacked sites. I've got a $7 course over on the website where I show you how to secure a site so it's not hacked in the first place. And either way, don't use SiteLock is my advice or anything else. Do it yourself, handle it yourself. So that's what happened. Was it a coincidence? I don't know, I hope so. Either way, if you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And then check out the private Facebook group where I help each other with WordPress. And after that, check out one of these videos that pop up on the right-hand side so you can get even better with WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you next video.